This is really happening. Just take a deep breath. This should have been my father's moment. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky on Habitat 7. But we survived that. Right? So, always keep a jump jet handy. I just updated the charts. She'll want to see crew reassignments first. Start with non-essential personnel. Okay, folks. This is what we've been waiting for. All stasis personnel report to duty station. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. It means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one. After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. We could see what the VI has to say. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry, my code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological aftereffects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? That's all. 
It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Plants are still alive. It's like they didn't finish building it. Hello? Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Ark? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But... we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here! You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Candros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Sarah Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we called them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are going to be a real problem. This day just keeps getting... We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at her. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec... is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live, 
a golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? You're in trouble here. I'd say you need any help you can get. We need qualified help. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. I can't believe how far off track things have gone. It's bad, but it's not over. Not yet. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Taylor, where's Vetrat? The Hyperion is starting to send a tally of supplies. Hello, console. Handling something big, is she? Very good I'll friends. just organize this as it comes we'll in. We'll get you all fixed up and ready to go when you're ready. This is Nexus Control to Hyperion. It's good to have you here. No, it it's isn't what we wanted, but what choice Excellent. do we have? Let's go over the docking How the hell should I know? Spender, you have a job. All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. I don't want to get into it. Things went wrong, and now I'm the one you have to deal with. Alec Ryder wouldn't accept that kind of ultimatum. Damned if I will. We'd never have left home if we... <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. There's also this strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends, or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title, but no one's a Pathfinder until they've path-found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. K 
Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus of Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. I thought I didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the Scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Something wrong? Ryder, can you see me and Sam Nude on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No. I'm fine. Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Any idea where they went? Nothing certain, but tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled.
Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. Sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you... It's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, G.N. Garson, is dead. How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Kandros mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we call them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle, nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the Scourge, some at the hands of the Exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management. Then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right, sorry. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. 
A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck. Engineering update. We are working on accessing more power from the high five so far. Ah! Ah! Repair requests are currently on hold until. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait! That's it! You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. No, 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 I'm fine. And I don't, I don't know, it, it just blew up. Find out why. Be careful. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Engineering update. We are working on accessing more power from the Hyperion. All non-relevant repair requests are currently on hold until power coupling is complete. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Engineering reports. Hyperion power draw is now at 100%. Alright, moving on. Do 
Scanning. This panel has been tampered with. Send the data to Raj. Yes, Pathfinder. as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? I expected something like that. I can handle the pressure. Good to hear. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your brother's doing. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omni-Tool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up... I just don't understand. The data Miss Kellis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Pattles. A third party seems likely. The real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because we both figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it.
activity. Security is on heightened alert. This file is useless. Let's check another. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Somebody working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled, but if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. Biometrics do not match. Biometrics do not match. Negative match. Scan results show a partial positive. Target is most likely suspect. Who is he? Dale Atkins reports to Kandros' department, assigned to station security. Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. We know what you've been up to. You're done here. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just doing my job, that's all. Proof says you've been up to no good. Vigors. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... Whatever happened back then, hurting people now makes no sense. What do you know? <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people. Killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. Not my call. The Nexus leaders will make that decision. That lot make a decision? That'll be the day. <laughs> 